Hi. Today I wanted to talk about creating folders in VBA. Um, this is a common task that, you know, us as developers, we need to do all the time. Create structures to export data to, create structures when you're creating new projects and the users don't have to do that. And that's actually where my original article came from. It was work I was doing for a client. And whenever they didn't put a new project into the database, um, they had a very complex uh, structure that had to be created for each project to house, you know, the initial scope of work and requirements, uh, requests for proposals, um, anyway, all the project details. And they had a very elaborate, complex folder structure. And this is where I got into really creating directories. And, um, you know, I, I have an article on the subject and you'll see. You know, we all know about make directory, make dir. It's an old command. It's been around forever, DOS, and it allows you to create a single directory one at a time. But when you're getting into subfolders and subfolders and subfolders and you get, you know, eight, ten levels deep, this is a tedious way of doing work. And that's when during this process back in 2011, I ended up finding this nifty API. And it definitely simplified the job tremendously. And at the time, that is what I implemented as my fix for my client. But I always am in the back of my head trying to avoid APIs as much as possible. And this is where in my article you'll see I also came up with a, a simple, pure VBA solution. It still uses the make directory, but it simplifies the process for you. And this is all basically what we're going to discuss today. Uh, we're going to look at two traditional ways of creating directories, and then we're going to look at the API and this uh, plain VBA alternative solution. And you'll see just how much it can simplify things. So let's dive in. So I have a very simple database here, and I split it basically by subject, so a module per subject. And let's start off with the make directory. We all are familiar with this. It is the traditional solution. And I'm just going to hide this for a second and come back here. And traditionally, what we do is you define the directory you want to create, and you just call make dear. And if we run it, you'll see on my desktop over here, it does indeed create it. Let's expand this a bit. So that worked beautifully. Now, one of the problems here is if you run it again, you're going to get an error because the folder already exists, so it can't create it again. Well, we can remedy that pretty easily, right? We'll add a check, and that's what this line does here in the next procedure. We're gonna first, before employing the make deer, we're gonna check does the directory already exist. So it will only fire the make deer if the folder doesn't already exist. So as you can see, it works. And if we delete it, and run it, you'll see it works. It does indeed create the folder. So we've remedied the first problem. Now the next problem, however, and let's delete this off of our desktop. What happens if we will need to create subfolder within that main folder? Well, you'd be tempted to do something like this third procedure where you're just going to do a make deer on the full path of the folder and the subfolder. But if you do that, you're going to quickly notice it cannot make deer cannot do nested and subfolders which means that you're going to have to first create the main folder and then create the subfolder. And then technically, before doing any of that, we should be also employing the same, the same check and validation to make sure we're not wasting the time in creating errors if the folders already exist, right? So this is what the real code should look like to create a folder and a subfolder every single time. And now if you come here, you'll see it's created the folder and the subfolder. Now for a single case, that may be manageable, but realistically, it's not something you want to employ on a regular basis. So I'll just show you an example here. You have a structure with subfolders. You can see the code is quickly with every instance of a folder and a subfolder getting more and more elaborate and complex and convoluted and it's going to become a mess to read and track and follow. But if you do do it, it does work. It will create subfolders and subfolders within subfolders. So 
there's nothing wrong with make deer, but it's unnecessarily complex, long, and convoluted. Similarly, we could look at FSO, right? And FSO basically is the same as the make deer. I'm not going to necessarily do every single example here, but the basic concept is always the same. We create our file system object, our FSO variable, and then I define a directory we want to create, and we simply use the create folder method to do so, like we did with make deer. If we run it on the desktop, you'll see the main folder appears. Once again, we have the same problem. If we run it a second time to ensure that the directory exists or not, you'll see you get an error. So that brings us to the second case where, okay, we've got to first do a folder exists before we actually try to create it and only create it in the instances where it doesn't exist. And then you'll see it does indeed work. And we're no longer getting errors. And now if we run it, when there is nothing, it will indeed create it. So that's beautiful. But what about the case of a subfolder? Well, it's the exact same thing as make gear. If we try to create a subfolder without that first main folder existing, you get an error. FSO doesn't build a nested system. Uh, you have to create them one by one by one. So we would have to do the same thing. First create the main, then create the subfolder. And that's what brings us to the exact same example as we saw in make gear, but with FSO, to create a nested system, we'd have to do each one one by one and you think of the order you can't just do it in any order you can't create the subfolder before creating the main so make sure there's a logic to the way you're building it and you should check every instance if it exists before you try to create it but if you do so and you run it it does indeed work it creates the folders and subfolders and subfolders etc it's a viable option fso it's functional and it's not saying it doesn't work just like the make deer but at the end of the day, they're not the best approach. There has to be better. And there is. I came across, like I said, in 2011, when I wrote that article, trying to solve this problem at a client, I came across this nifty API. Okay? So the make sure directory exists path. And as you can see, it's a single line. I've made it here VBA 64-bit um, compatible. And then I created a wrapper around it just to ensure that when we're passing it, that it, the trailing slash is there and to return true or false. So you can actually, it will tell you if it created the folder structure or not. And then now we can create the same structure that I've done here. I can now create with three lines of code. And if we run it, we have the structure indeed, okay? uh, the folders, subfolders, they're all there. And if we run it a second time, there are no errors. It is smart enough to just create the folders, subfolders when required. So we don't need to do any special jumping through hoops to first validate if they exist or not. So this is an excellent solution. It simplifies code and uh, as you can see, it can create that fully nested subfolder, subfolder. You can go as deep as you want. It doesn't make a difference. Um, it, it just works. All right. And if we come in here, subfolder one, sub and you'll see. And we're just going to keep going. How hard was that? Okay. So that's beautiful. But I don't like APIs. So I didn't want to leave it there. Although this works, and I've never had a problem with it, I wanted a VBA only solution. And I came up with one. And it's this guy here. And basically all I'm doing is I'm passing a path to it and I split it, okay? And I go uh, right here, I split it wherever there's a backslash. So I'm identifying each folder basically. And then I'm going through each folder one by one. I check if it's a folder, if it already exists. If it doesn't exist, I create it. So yes, I am using make gear, but I've automated it so the checks are already part of my function, my subroutines, and I don't need to do it anymore in my code. And my code becomes as simple as the API version at the end of the day. And I can create as many folders as I want. There's no limits once again. Okay. 
And then I can just run it and the folder structure appears. And like I said, I haven't done anything more than three lines of code. And that pretty much wraps it up. That is as complex as it is to create folders, nested folders, subfolders, uh, directory structures, however you want to label it. That is the complexity of creating such structures. You have uh, multiple ways of approaching this. As I said, make dear, the FSO, the API, or my VBA function. They all work. There's nothing wrong. Um, I personally, at the end of the day, think the VBA function that I created is the way to go because then you're not getting into APIs and you don't need to add all these extra checks in each procedure where you're needing to create directories because that check is built into that subroutine already, so you don't need to add it every time. But the choice is yours, and that is the beauty of VBA is it always has a lot of flexibility, and as a developer, you get to pick and choose how you approach each situation um, to try to get the best solution for your uh, individual case, your client. Hope this was somewhat informative and uh, taught you something new. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that API for one. Um, like I said, I came across it way back when, 2010, 2011, when I was looking into this and working on a complex situation and my code had just degenerated a little too much. Then I'm like, there had to be a better way and there was. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you don't mind, give me a thumbs up, liking it, subscribing to the channel. If you're able to promote the channel or the video in any manner, in blogs, networks, or whatever the case may be, please feel free to do so. It would be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a great day.